All right, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth. And much of peace and blessings to the elect. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone Miami camp. It's your brother Ash. The bar. Welcome. And we just here coming back uh, with another impromptu lesson through the spirit. All right, we're going to go into how these different comforts that these people uh, enjoy today in this modern world, these different comforts, these uh, luxuries, okay, the, the dainties and the victuals that these people take for granted, the food, the water, okay, the ability to, to take a shower with warm water, clean water, okay, the ability to get up and go to the grocery store and get some food, the ability to go into their car, crank it up, and, you know, go do whatever the hell they want to do is getting ready to come to an end. Their ability to travel, the, uh, the scriptures say that uh, the days is going to come where a man uh, shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able Okay, uh, the time is going to come where a man won't desire to hear the voice of his friend. And he's not going to hear it. Okay. And uh, the Lord is ultimately going to remove his word. And there's going to be nothing but judgments going on. And as you can see, we're we're coming into that time. All right, we, we're here. You got people, uh, the authorities over there in Jackson, Mississippi, telling the, the citizens to shower with their mouth closed. Because they're having an extreme water crisis. And they been had a water crisis going on in Flint, Michigan. Them niggas used to that, okay. And uh, over there in California, they're they're uh, basically on a water restriction, okay, due to the 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 drought, extreme drought, extreme heat, or late need drying up. The Euphrates River is drying up. You got different uh, bodies of water and rivers around the world drying up, okay. The well water is disappearing. Okay, uh, Russia's getting ready to uh, permanently cut off the, the, the gas lines to, to uh, Western Europe. So it's going to be ready to be all hell getting break, uh, to break loose on this earth, which is going to lead people to commit heinous acts just to get uh, access to these things that people take for granted right now. Okay, and that's going to be the hour of Jacob's trouble. And Esau is, is uh, ultimately, it's Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But the Lord is using this devil to, to put the squeeze on, on the inhabitants of the earth so that they will uh, willingly receive that M, -O M to the Izzo, T to the Bize, that Haragma. Okay? So we're just going to go into the, uh, through the spirit and over this edifying. Any brothers, anything you want to open up with before we uh, get this precept? If not, you, you just. Yeah, open I got up. something. What you just said. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, as the rivers of water, he turneth it, whither soever he will. That's the spirit, cause the, the picture we got right here, we, we got for the for the uh you know the backdrop, you got the, the eat of my hand squeezing out the you know the, the juices uh, out of the earth. Yeah, well, basically resources. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, which is the spirit. You you can you can get that Sirach, cause you, the resources, what's the the number one resource? Boy, you got right, right. It's a lot. <clears throat> this is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 29, verse 21. The chief thing for life is water. Water. And That's number one. Where well, they say water is life, right? Mm -hmm. Water is the number one thing that people, that all life needs, really. Mm -hmm. Not just people, animals, uh, plant life. Yep. You can't have life without water. And people take water for granted. You know they they uh they just leave the water running. Yep. And they don't they don't they don't think about it. Mm -hmm. But hey man, that that that's that's the most I'm finna shut that shit off. Mm -hmm. Just like you had uh in 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 the land of Egypt, the most I turned the waters into blood, mm -hmm. which he he contaminated the waters. <clears throat> the Lord is doing that all over again. <clears throat> okay. God, the chief thing for life. Is water and bread and clothing and then house to cover shame. Right. Water, bread, clothing, which bread that, that goes into food in general. Okay. 
but you know, just just bread. That's that's like poor man's food. Even back in the ancient world, if they had nothing else to eat, if you got some grain, okay, and and, and some oil or whatever, you could, at least you can make you some some bread. And that that's that's getting taken away. Mm-hmm. All right, clothing. People take that for granted. All of these people have different uh, changes of apparel. Okay. They got all different types of clothing back in the ancient times. Shit, if you had two, three outfits, you were straight. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, but they got uh, the, what they call in the gender 2030, aka the Great Reset. One of their uh, phrases they like to use is you will own nothing and you will be happy. Yep. Okay, once again, what they're doing is creating a, a socialist uh, you know, system where everything that you have is given to you by the government. Okay, no, no, uh, personal property. Yep. Okay, so they're getting ready to take your house. Exactly. They said a house to cover shame. They're getting, that's why it says the second under 16. Okay, uh, somebody grab that real quick. Uh, matter of fact, if, uh, if I grab it first, I'll get it. But, uh, second under 16, and, um, let me read that real quick. Second under 16 and verse. 68 No, no, no Second edge is 16 and 72, I got it set, uh, Start at, start at uh, 70 okay. Second edge is 16 and 70 For there shall be in every place And in the next cities a great insurrection Upon those that fear the Lord they shall Right, be- so And that really goes for all you So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because Esau and the powers that be know that you are the people of the Lord. Whether you want to accept that or not. Okay? You are the number one people when it comes to their depopulation agenda. They know you have that that uh, zeal in, in your spirit. Okay? Esau, he knows he don't really know who to elect or not. So he, he just want to get rid of all you, you niggas. And ultimately, that's the Lord. As we open up with the the, the 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 king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Sparing none. Okay. So they, they, they going after everybody. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. <laughs> Meaning they're going to kick you out of the, your house, take your shit. And take your house. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is look up. Do you have these different laws in the books? Yep. NDAA. Okay. These uh, different executive orders. Right. That they have on the books where. And you can look on the government website where they can legally. In a, in a, in a, in a emergency cases. They can take your house. They can take you. Your children. Your family. Yep. National Defense Authorization Act. They just, just look it up. They, that was put into law when Obama was in office. You niggas love Obama. Okay, and they they passed through a hella legislation under his presidency, that's getting ready to be uh, implemented by the nigga that was uh, his running mate. <laughs> okay. Uh, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Right. So that's that's the part. That's gonna be the time where people are going to be tried to see what you're really made of when those different comforts are taken away because you better believe we're not exempt from that we're gonna have to go through that too but what's the difference between us and the rest of the people are number one we're, we're preparing our mind for that first and foremost i should say ultimately lord willing we're the elect we, we speak as the hopeful elect but we believe that lord has a hedge about us and we're doing the things that's required of us right now so that we can be provided for in the times to come. Yeah. All right, but but you you niggas living like this thing gonna happen. <clears throat> We're gonna be caught off guard, and we you, you gonna fold because you ain't never experienced nothing like that. You ain't think that was possible. So uh, this is Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. 
done. You, you can speak on it. You know, going back to the times that were coming in, that uh, majority of, of our people, they don't have any, they have worldly wisdom. Um, and the scripture's talking about how the Lord is going to make the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high. And all the, 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 the wise people of this world, when, it's, when the SHTF comes, they're going to be confounded. You know, when when the, when you turn on that faucet and black water comes out or blood, you're going to be confounded. When you when you are not able to have a warm bath or no, you know your your comforts and your you know the scriptures talk about uh, Revelation 18 the the, the the delicacies of of, of Babylon the Great, how you know how, how the people are, are living deliciously and comfortably, you know. All right, good a good movie to watch is Book of Eli. Mm -hmm. It shows you in the book of Eli, the, the, um, I believe the bitch had uh, a little old ass bottle of shampoo. Mm. And that shit was like a, a gift from heaven. Yeah, I remember, I remember <laughs> you that. Know? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The, you, fem you, you females ain't gonna have no no uh, mm. period pads and mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. You ain't gonna have you no know, soap. It's, it's finna get nasty out here, man. Because the resources, the, the, the Edomites are, are, are they uh, engineered a, a famine, not only with food, but with resources. Telling you, they Esau got the, the world, the he got this thing on a, a lock because he, he, uh, your water supplies ran ele electric, electronically. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, they would have, have to actually come to your house and turn your water off. Right. The water man would come But now Esau got it electronically Why? To control you uh, Not just the water But but the, the, the meter The electricity uh -huh. meter smart Now they have uh, smart meters They switched right. out all the meters you, Okay So they could they could cut off your, your electricity Without having to come to you They could cut off everybody electricity Okay That's that's what uh, all this, this This green energy That Esau over the past couple of decades They've been pushing Global warming and and, and and energy crisis and, and climate change, so that they can switch up the systems, so that it could be easier to, to, to control the people. Okay, I believe you had a uh, that guy Henry Kissinger, a uh, quote. You can look it up. He said, uh, "If you control, damn, I forget exactly how it go, but basically said if if you control money, you control." Nations, I believe, rough paraphrase, if you control food, you can control the people. You, you, you look, look, looking it up? Yeah. Yeah, just put a Henry Kissinger control food. And, and this guy, Henry Kissinger, he was the one who groomed this guy, Klaus Schwab, which is the head of the uh, World Economic Forum, the, the the people that's coming out to tell you all these things is getting ready to take place. Okay, here we go. Throughout the, uh, this is Henry Kissinger. He said, who controls the food supply controls the people. Who controls the energy can control whole continents. Who controls money can control the world. So it's, it's all about control. It ain't about because uh, they love the earth and want to conserve. These are the motherfuckers that's put... They the ones that destroyed the world. Mm -hmm. It's about control, man. And you, you damn people are just so foolish. You, you, which they just uh, in California, they, they, uh, cause they over there, they so woke and, and liberal and shit. Right. They, they all into trying to save the world, even though they're the ones fucking up the world. Okay, they, they, they persuaded the people to get electric vehicles. That's why they pushing Tesla and all this shit on you. Okay, and then. They, they told the people that they can't charge their cars to conserve energy. Because it's so hot, everybody got their AC on. So to conserve energy, they saying you can't you can't charge your car between certain times and, and, and you know, to a certain degree. Yeah. That's about control, man. Rolling blackouts over there. Right. So you done did everything... That these people done told you to do <laughs> And still You still got no type of freedom in A lot of you people You know You just don't give a damn yeah. You know Some people ain't gonna get it Until they actually Sit in the house in the dark No running water No food And then you gonna try And call on your government mm -hmm. And they're not gonna help you Because the scriptures tell you that uh, They should not regard Their kings no prince Because they're gonna see Like many people ain't helping us 
Yeah, after a certain point, the people they, which Esau knows that's coming, and that's that's what he wants. So he could just come on with the shit. Mm-hmm. He ain't got a pussyfoot no more. Exactly. He wants people to ultimately rebel. Yeah, he gonna come down with the hammer. <laughs> um, you got something to come? Um, you could get if you didn't. You got something? Nah, if you didn't, you can bring it on a little bit later. Actually, All you right. could get the uh, second, get a uh, second Ezra sixteen. Uh, matter of fact, get second Ezra fifteen and uh. Now we're gonna start at uh. Fifteen. I was gonna start at uh. Eleven to bring it. Second Ezra fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Go. All right. Uh, second Ezra fifteen eleven. It says, "But I will bring it with a mighty yeah, hand, stretched out arm, and smite you Egypt 16. with plagues as before." And will destroy all the land thereof. To speak of Because the plagues are coming back. All right. Now, the Lord is going to bring back some new plagues, of course. Because the Lord, <laughs> he's a, a, a master in uh, judgment. So he's going to bring out plagues that we've never even seen before. Uh, darkness is coming back. You know, the plagues of Egypt. He said he's going to bring them back. Uh, verse 12 Egypt shall mourn And the foundation of it Shall be smitten With the plague and punishment That God shall bring upon it And that's what you're seeing People are starting to mourn People are uh, um, Losing their mind All type of suicidal uh, People are killing themselves Yeah the, the CFO of uh, Bed Bath and Beyond Right He killed himself right. uh, You had a rapper A girlfriend She just killed herself the other day 600 Breezy Oh Drill man! Rapper. His girlfriend his killed girlfriend herself. His girlfriend killed herself. She talking about some. She feeling bugs under her skin crawling. No matter how many times she wow. take a bath, people Great. bugging out. Oh my, <laughs> my, my! Uh, some old coach, basketball coach. He killed himself. He was a young man, twenty six years old. Wow. People are killing themselves, man. Uh, the mental, they're, 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 demons are festering. So you know, uh, they see. The, they're looking at the the, the 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 current status of this world, and they don't see any hope. Right. They don't see hope because they the Lord didn't give them the comforter. It says uh, right because outside of outside of the comfort there is no hope. Exactly, there really is. I, like it's it's at the point now if if you're at least ha- if you got at least half a brain in your head and you're not just completely oblivious to what's going on in the earth and you're not uh, in the truth, I I really can't see how you not off yourself. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know, because there is no hope, right? Because you don't see there, you don't see hope in the world. <laughs> I see no changes. <laughs> yeah. it's, verse thirteen. Uh, I'm gonna jump down to fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw. No, no, not, no, no. Read, okay. read through, read through. Con, con, con. Thirteen. They that tw- till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell. And with a fearful constellation. Right. Look at what's going. It's extreme weather catastrophes that's going on. You had a uh, Dallas, uh, I believe, last week. They received more rain, I believe, in three hours than they ever received in, in like in like ninety years or some shit like that. I forget the exact numbers, but they they uh, had uh, historic flooding just mm-hmm. last week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You had over there in uh, damn what was I believe in India. Somewhere mm-hmm. Pakistan. The floods. Right. Yeah. And it's it's, it's 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 if it's not extreme heat, it's extreme floods. Yeah. If it ain't extreme floods, it's it's uh fucking uh bomb cyclone blizzards and shit. Okay? And that's affecting not only people and and, and uh infrastructure, that's fucking up the, the, the crops and, and the agriculture, which is gonna lead to to more uh famine. Uh, 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. For there should be sedition among Right. right. That, what's, 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 uh, everybody's, uh, they, they believe, uh, I believe who it was, but there's different news groups. They've been taking, uh, polls and surveys over half. Of of Americans believe that a civil war is coming, mm-hmm. which if you if if you spiritual you you see, it's really already started. It's just it's like a proxy civil war going on between the uh, the left and the right. They got different talks of the union 
coming back. <laughs> so we we here, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never no, man. That real quick. Oh, go ahead, bro. <clears throat> um, you got truck drivers talking about this. You know, when you see a damn video of a truck driver, you know, you would think a truck driver would not know anything. You know, he's a truck driver, but they talking about that there's gonna be famines that's about to happen right now, cause they're the ones in the forefront. They're yep. the ones delivering food, water. You know, and, they, and if they talking about it, they're the ones that are gonna see it first. Right. People people take truck drivers for for uh, granted. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Come. Yeah. Because they don't see it. Right. Because if you don't see it in the like like a body, you know, you, you don't see certain things, but uh, you know it's. The truck drivers are like the uh, a lifeline of, of, of the system. Yeah, you know? that's those those routes and um, the highways yeah. and that. That's those are like arteries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, cause the spirit. I was thinking like veins, arteries. Right, like the, those trucks. That's uh-huh. basically like blood, blood cells carrying right. different nutrients and shit throughout the body. Yep. They uh blood, blood is well. Should I say money, is the lifeblood of a nation, the economy and the and the, the money flow. That's that's. Equivalent to blood in the in a living being. Right. Come. Um, verse eighteen. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm. but destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Oh, so, so you read sixteen. Verse sixteen. Uh, yeah. yeah. Read again, Bible Kashan. Uh, for Second Ezra fifteen and sixteen, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. So we, we know what that's about. That's uh, you know, the citizens of a nation revolting against the government. Mm-hmm. Okay, anarchy. That's that's coming to America in, in a big way. You got these these generation Zers. These uh these little GMO babies, yeah, <laughs> they 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 ready to 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 you know go against the government. Mm-hmm. A lot of them is just bugged out. Yeah, but really what Esau has done is he on these GMO babies, the Generation Z, they totally through. They gone. They they don't have no sense of original thought. No, everything they do is totally uh you know uh programmed in them to do. But as a as a young person, that rebellious spirit is naturally in you. Like if you really look back in history, especially in the modern times, the the, the youth, that rebellion in, in youth can cause a lot of change in in uh in, in society. But what Esau has done is he's tapped into that that rebellion, rebellious spirit in the youth. But it's it's a control rebellion. He gets them to re, to rebel the way he wants them to rebel. Mm-hmm. So you know, it used to be cool to you know to say f the government. Yeah. You know, I ain't going to school now. These young these young just they they always got a lot of them always got you know masked up. They they jabbed up. Yep. <laughs> you feel me? But Esau when Esau wants them to rebel, he he can, he can do that. It's like it's like they're like a controlled weapon. <laughs> You're right. He done weaponized everybody. <laughs> right. You know, except the, the except the hopeful elect. You know, and that <laughs> everybody's a weapon to Esau. So he like an extension. Of, these people are like an extension of Esau, man. Mm-hmm. In a sense, <laughs> because they're controlled. They're, they're under the mind control of them. <clears throat> government. Yeah, government. <laughs> which which uh, the these little GMO babies. He, whenever he wants them to rebel, like especially these niggas with the BLM and shit, if if it, they could kill a nigga, it don't even got to be real; it could be fake, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And just just play the story over and oh, over, and, no. <laughs> and, and, and just put that riot. Just yep. uh, get some crisis actors yeah. and yeah. mob mentality. Yep. There you go, niggas rioting. Yep. And you know, yep. but it could be another nigga get shot by the cops and nobody knows about it. You know, cause yeah. they ain't put it on the news, so yeah. Esau can make. He, he, you know, we we know he deals with order at chaos. Mm-hmm. So he want he wants uh people, you know, he wants people to rebel against the government. Verse seventeen: A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled, 
the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Which is what? Lockdowns. Yep. <laughs> curfews. Stay at home orders. Which they're they, they doing it again in China right now. Yep. They still on lockdown. They had I saw uh brothers that put in the chat the video got a drone mm-hmm. flying right. through the neighborhood telling people to stay in the house. Yep. That's coming back to America. They already got talks of, of climate lockdowns. Lockdowns due to to uh you know energy crises. Yep. Too much too much carbon. Right. You can't have too much carbon. So you're gonna have uh climate <laughs> carbon uh shutdown lockdown. I was in Publix the other other night, I'm walking through, I hear a nigga on the phone. Briefly, I heard it. Yeah, man, I gotta cut down my carbon footprint. <laughs> I like that this nigga. I said, I said, damn, these niggas is through, man. Yeah, they through. They through. But here it is: the, the elites, they eat good, <laughs> right? The steak. They got r- real lamb, and they tell you, man, you destroying the earth. <laughs> they got houses right, right on the uh, shoreline. Uh huh. But yet the sea levels is rising. And they newly buying houses on the shoreline. Yeah. In different coasts of America. Yep. The fuck out of here. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil you their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, mm. uh, neighbors are going to be stealing from people because of the lack of resources. Mm-hmm. You know, no water. No food. Only, only, a, only certain people going to be able to, 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 to live a certain way. So you, if you are, are, are against the system, Esau going to cut you off, man, because everything going to be digital. You know, like, like over there in China, they, uh, they system set up where if you were, if you rebellion, rebelling against them, you pretty much a, a, a homeless person. They got a social credit score, yeah. and then depending on if you. If, uh, paraphrase if you you got to be a, a good boy, you know if you ain't a good boy and you know right. you you deemed a, 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 a somewhat of a terrorist over there. You you called a woman a bitch today. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we we gonna drop thirty points. We, th- you, we, yeah. we taking some points from your carbon. So that means that, <laughs> you know you can't you can't you can't go an extra miles. You know you only get <laughs> one pound of crickets yeah. this week. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the system that they're getting ready to set up, God. it's going to be very draconian. And they already, uh, uh, Joe Biden already signed the bill, okay, concerning digital assets, all right, mm-hmm. which is supposedly supposed to come into play on uh, December 13th mm-hmm. of this year. So they, they, uh, you have the Bank of England. They, they, uh, those citizens have until September to turn in, I believe, their uh, 20 and $50 denominations. Of, of, of cash they, they get ready to do away with cash over there so once this digital currency these different CBDCs uh, roll in that's going to facilitate all these different things yep alright they have the smart cities being set up where every move you make is tracked every every uh, literally everything you do and they're going to uh, attach a, a, a dollar amount to everything you do and they're going to with that be able to limit what you do and what you don't do, what you say, where you go, mm-hmm. everything. Oh, uh, the Salaki, the, the CEO of Alibaba, say uh, they want to know what, where you're going, what are you doing, why are you going there, what are you eating? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so these devils, they're, they're sick. Uh, the, the CEO of Nokia, he, he said that right. uh, everybody's going to be, uh, you know, karagmed up by mm-hmm. 2030. Yep. I, I believe that's what he said. So uh, all that, you know. We're bringing out different points, but the the main point is like your your different comforts about to go away. Mm-hmm. So the, the 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 that's what you see right here, the hand <laughs> and the hand under the earth. Yeah. Like these devils, they about to start <laughs> sucking the life out of out of the out of the people. Cause really the earth, and really the earth resources, they're they're sucking the resources out of the earth too, because the earth is supposed to be ran a certain way. You know, but really. It's enough resources for everybody to live, but the devil is just gonna he just gonna like tell you you can't have it. Right. He's gonna he's gonna manufacture a, a famine. Mm-hmm. Right, con, con. Pressure from above, pressure from below. Yep. So he basically gonna cut the resources off from you people and tell you what you can't have. So if you don't come back to the Lord, you know, you, you're gonna be given into this man's hands. Uh, 
I think that was you. Uh, you, no, uh, you get at, uh, come get at a second edge of 16, and you can start at uh, 17. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Talking about these days now. So Ezra is, is on the earth now. Okay? Waiting for his reward as he's doing the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginnings of of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Which we're here, these different evils have already begun. Yep. We are in the beginning of sorrows. This is what Yahweh Shai quoted in when you read uh, Matthew the 24th chapter. Okay. This, this this is the times that we're in right now. And was, if, if Ezra was pondering on this over 2,000 years ago, he was concerned with what he would be doing now. That's how extreme what he saw actually was. So how much more us today, right now, about to go into it? You should be very concerned with this. These average jakes, they think, they, you know, it, like it don't mean nothing. Okay, but you should be concerned. But but the only the, the only thing you can do is is uh, do the things the Lord requires of you and, and trust in Him. That's all you can do. Hope. Verse nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish. Are sent as scourges for amendment. So these different things that's coming on the earth, the Lord is sending these plagues so that people can repent. 2020 was a was a gut check to the world. That was the time the Lord, you know, was was stretching his hand out very which he, his arm is stretched out still. But that was, you know, that was a time to contemplate your life, man. Sit home. Everybody ain't have a job, you know. Some people use it to, to, to do more wickedness, but you you had time to sit home and, and meditate and look at the earth. The Lord jacked up the earth. Kobe died, you know. You niggas <laughs> crying about Kobe, you know, Kobe, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, bro. But it said, but oh, my bad. Keep going. No, you got it. No, no. Verse oh. twenty. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see? Now, 2022, niggas forgot about it. That's that fast. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's true. I got a quick precept, if I may. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Iraq 40 and 8. Such things happen to, unto all flesh, both man and beast. So you got to start a couple verses up. Oh, you want to uh, Just to get the meat off. I'm talking about them, uh, you know, like nightmares and shit, right? Oh, okay. You want me to start at the top? Uh, what verse you just read? I was just going to start at verse uh, 8. You started at, you started at 8? Yeah, that's what I was reading. Uh, just start from 5. Okay. Uh, wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, and the time of rest upon his bed. His night sleep do change his knowledge. Right. That's 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 you know, you having night terrors. You having that that uh, uh, what's the word? An anxiety and despair. Uh, what's the paranoia? Mm -hmm. Okay. That that people in the world experience. Yeah. You know us too sometimes. But it's gonna explain why. A little or nothing is his rest, and afterward he is in sleep, as in a day of keeping watch, troubled in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. Right. 
you, 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 you terrified in your sleep. When all is safe, he awaketh and marveleth that the fear was nothing. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword. Calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. You can break it down, huh? Oh, so <laughs> that's self-explanatory in itself, right there. Because you got these things are, are on earth. Paranoia, anxiety. These are these things are at all-time highs right now. Yeah. People, uh, mental. Mental, mental, mental health. health. Yep, mental health. Is is your people's mental health are is failing them because what what they're seeing and what they've been told it, it it's not matching up. You're hearing one thing on TV, but what you're actually seeing is something else, and you don't have any people in the world. They don't have hope. And it said a sevenfold upon sinners, right? Because mm -hmm. they don't have no hope. They don't they don't have the truth. They don't have nothing uh, to look forward. Past this life Exactly That's why You know From 2020 now People just, just Losing it Yep mm -hmm. Yep People have lost their damn mind People can't They can't sleep They, they bug die And plus they, they know they're wicked So it's, it's Damn Is God Really judging it Is my, is my next mm -hmm. You know <laughs> Yeah But when you repent If you turn back to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai You don't you don't have that feeling. No. Them, right. them demons can't mess with you like that. Because you have faith and, and hope in the Lord for something better. Okay? We know the Lord is not our righteous to forget your work and labor of love. Okay? 2nd Ezra 14. Let me grab that real quick. 2nd Ezra chapter 14. And uh, verse 24. 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Okay, what's mortal thoughts? You know, thoughts of death, thoughts of starvation. What if this happened? What if that happened? God. Damn, what if, what if, uh, what if, what if I, you know, can't feed my children and this or that? How I'm gonna provide if, I, you know, shit gonna go cash to cash because I'm not, how I'm gonna take care of my family? What if they kick me out? What if they snatch me up? Forget about all that. You're not in control of it. All you can do is, do what's required of you and hope for the best. Right? Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Okay? So we ain't seen nothing yet. Now it's time for us to strengthen our minds, get our mind right. That's true. Okay? Make not haste in time of trouble, as the scriptures say. Because yeah, that's really good. Our spirit is really going to, you know, keep us sane. You know? Not not our muscles. And, you know? Because right. it say wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord going to put a, a, a certain type of spirit on us because it's, <clears throat> you know, because of the, 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 the evils and the, the Tribulation is going to get a lot worse, <laughs> you know. The, the, so the Lord is going to have to amplify the spirit that's within His men. Yeah. Yeah, for the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power uh -huh. and of love and of a sound mind. So uh, we can finish on that second sixteen. Back to the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse, I'll start at um, 20 again. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So the Lord got to hit them with more judgment. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. That they shall think themselves to be to be in good case, <laughs> and even then shall shall evils grow upon earth, sword, 
famine and great confusion. Mm. See that? So because shit is is still somewhat decent, they still have the liberty to do wickedness. They still can, you know, get up and go and move about and con- you know go after their own covetousness. More more millionaires were created since you know 2020. A lot of people came up. A lot of people, yeah, you know, a lot of people got uh, lost money. A lot of people made money. You know, so it's, it's there's still enough. You know, there's a lot of people that there's, you know, and I was meditating on it. You you got to be completely blind to to really flourish in this world. Right. Because if you if you actually knew what was coming on the earth, you wouldn't be putting all your eggs in 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 in, the, in you know you wouldn't be putting that much stake in this world. The people that's actually winning and, and growing and getting rich and they're they're totally blind. <laughs> you know? They really think this this thing is gonna keep going. But that's the most side uh choosing their delusions, putting a strong yeah. delusion on them. That they should believe a lie, man. So that they can be destroyed. <clears throat> they think they're in good case. <laughs> They'll show you the Lord right. is the Lord is He's terrible, man. Yeah, he is, man. <laughs> it's like a like a playing tricks on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> really, you see, this you see an illusion of something, but it's not really there. But it's if it said even then, shall evils grow up on earth. Right. So e- why you think shit is sweet? If, if, as you think is clear, shit is getting worse. You know. Mm-hmm. Better show these people are blinded. Read in, uh, the next verse. Okay. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. You see? So the Lord said it was at Amos, the day of the Lord is going to be as one one uh, flee, flee from a lion in a bear met him. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dan got away from the lion and leaned him upon the wall and the serpent bit him. So there's going to be no escape. This is going to be judgment after judgment. The Lord is going to get everybody. That's not of the elect. You're going to get God. Mm-hmm. One way or another. Uh, I want to bring up a quick precept. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where well, there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law happy is he. Going back to what Brother Ash was talking about. About uh, the vision and them being blind. You know, they don't have... Wisdom lies in them. They're not, they're not accepting the prophet. They haven't accepted the prophets. So right. they, don't, they don't have, a, a, they have their own vision, which is flawed. Right, because that, that word vision, I believe, goes to. Uh, Oracles. Uh, yeah, it goes into, uh, basically, goes into prophecy. Mm-hmm. Chazawan, yes. I believe, is the word. It goes into, to, you know, foreseeing uh, future events, uh, uh, prophetic events. You know that we we actually know the prophecies, so we we know what's going on. Scripture say, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself." Okay, uh, a wise man's heart uh, uh, discerneth both time and judgment. Mm-hmm. So you know the scripture say, "The simple pass on and are punished." I mean, they're gonna be <laughs> they gonna keep going like shit is sweet, and they gonna they gonna get hit by a fucking train, man. That's the time oh. we're living in. Scripture say, uh, and they that loathe my law while they had yet liberty, the same shall know it after death by pain. Right. Simple as that. Right. You got something to come? Uh, yeah, I want to bring out um, Matthew. Uh, anybody got nothing else we can close on that? Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, <clears throat> verse, uh, start at verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm a, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye, sh- and ye shall hear of wars of rumors of wars, and that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Right? So what, what, what are we seeing right now in the headlines? You know, we see a lot of uh, 
um, you know, wars that are escalating right now between Russia and Ukraine. You know, you got China and Taiwan. Well, that's, that is actually prophecy being fulfilled right there. It says verse 8. Salakia. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. Again, another thing. That's prophecy being fulfilled right now. Okay. 2020, like the brother said, man, that should have been a gut check right now to uh, all of Israel. You know? And quick testimony, that's when I came to the truth. It was a gut check to me. Okay, and we see all kinds of uh, earthquakes going on. Earthquakes that never in areas that we've never seen before. There's an earthquake right now in China. That happened right now yeah. in China. And they're still finding dead bodies on the rubbles. <laughs> all right? And famines, okay? That's another thing that's going on right now. Because really what Esau is doing, Esau is just setting up the system right now to uh, for total annihilation. He's going to actually implement... Um, he's implementing right now a lot of these um, um, famines and, you know, no water supplies. Going back to the first original topic that we were touching into, um, you know, how we take everything for granted. And Esau is just going to take it away. And what he's going to do is going to bring roll in that karagma. He's just setting it up yeah. right now to, to bring in um, that, that prophecy. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows, which we're in those times right now. We in those days right now, the beginnings of sorrows. We're seeing it right now as we, as we, as I speak this verse. Yeah. Verse nine. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and they shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay. That's talking about the men of the Lord, man. They're going to be persecuted. What well, the Scripture tells you, hey, blessed is he that are, it is persecuted. And also. Hey, we just we just telling you what's what's happening and what's going to happen, and it's gonna to continue to get worse. Cause, hey, these other churches they're not telling you this, nope. but as men of the Lord, man, you know we got the comfort and we got the scriptures, and we're just gonna bring it out. We're gonna tell you what's the ultimate judgment of uh, of America, which is Babylon. Right. Well, it's gonna it, be destroyed, man. The cusp of World War Three, but them nuclear missiles being shot from Russia, China, North Korea, Iran. And from Europe, okay, by NATO and the EU, they're going to shoot missiles on America as well, man, okay, because of, uh, of, of things that's getting ready to take place on the earth. But uh, that's pretty much uh, everything we wanted to, to speak on. So uh, with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and others, a great millstone that rule well. And uh, much peace and blessings to the elect. What was that a fine? Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ba. Baba Ba. Baba Ba.